here we are on the broke rock server and as you'll soon see a lot has changed so i thought it was important to do a real quick roundup and show you everything that you've missed if you've not been watching my streams both on twitch and here on youtube mostly here on youtube but occasionally on twitch for stream day speaking of stream day we had one over the weekend and as you can see, the shopping district has changed a lot. Most notably the roads, also the lighting, the decorations, the entire shopping district has received a makeover. The river was transformed. I believe that was a GGMC. Everyone contributed to the roads. And as you can see, the shopping district is now a much, much nicer place. In addition to the makeover, I built a hostile mob switch. And it entirely spawn proofs the shopping district. So now the shopping district is no longer a dangerous place where you're likely to get murdered at night. We had a very successful stream day. And if you want to see more about it, go to brokerock.com and find the links for everyone's Twitch page. Look for Mysterious Pain, maybe JNAS, myself, um, GGMC, and Centronet, along with Mustang Girl and a few other people that help contribute to Shrimp Day. Like I said, the shopping district looks amazing now. In addition to the upgraded lighting, the mob switch, the decorations of the custom trees, I could go on and on about what happened during stream day to improve the shopping district, but you're better off just going and checking the links for yourself. In addition to all the work that has been done at the shopping district, I have started a base. Now I picked this location because it had an outpost and it used to have a village. I built a villager breeder. I built a manual cactus farm. I built a stone generator and I, have completely flattened the area. Now there's still more terraforming to be done, more disgusting, disgusting bruce, uh, spruce trees to cut down and replace with majestic birch trees. But we are slowly getting there. So I have started a base. We will be building iron farms. We'll be building a raid farm. We'll be building many, many things here. But as you can see, the terraforming is going great. And if you aren't watching the stream, you are missing out on things like that crop farm villager breeder. But I just wanted to show you around real quickly what we've been up to on streams. Like I said, this is a roundup, a recap of everything that has been going on. I didn't build this raid farm, but it is so nice that I actually rebuilt it twice. This raid farm was built by Mysterious Paint. And prior to me rehabbing it, it had leaves all over the ground. The raid platform was too small, and that's why the leaves were on the ground, because they were having mobs spawn on the ground. Also, the platform was way higher than this. And the outpost spawn spots had jack-o'-lanterns in them. So I actually enclosed the spawn spots so that they would be dark, remove the jack-o'-lanterns. I made the platform larger and then I rebuilt it again in 1.16.2 and lowered the entire thing so that it would still comply with and be within the R44 spawn range. So this is a really nice raid farm. It has a single trident killer with a single on off switch. I am currently using this for my emeralds until I get my raid farm built. I just wanted to show it off that I had done a little work here for for mysterious pain and this brings me to what i am currently calling the death tunnel now that way leads to my um tiger biome where i have a an outpost and all the things that you saw previously that leads to mysterious pain's raid form and this leads back to spawn it also runs by minion base right here on the right and as you can see it runs through basalt deltas so we have 
magma cubes and we have gas and we have skeletons and this is without a doubt one of the top two or three most dangerous tunnels on all of broke rock i'm going to show you the tunnel and we will most likely be attacked by gas any second now oh we almost fell in the hole right there he doesn't see us so we're safe right now But as you can see, it's blown up. Everything's on fire. I am still trying to work out a design for this tunnel. So if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. That would be fantastic. But we will start construction on this very shortly. I did dig this out. There was a one by two tunnel here and I dug it out. It is now, I think, seven by seven, maybe. Now, if you watch episode two, you recognize this road as the prank road. And yes, it is still pranked. When we prank people, they stay pranked. Now, on one of the streams, I did do a little work to this tunnel. I don't know that I'd like this. I'm going to change this slightly. I'm going to change the pattern. It's not going to be a full wall here so we will actually finish this soon maybe this week but we have started decorating this tunnel and this is the last stop on the tour here we are at my current base it is an ocean monument now i didn't build this base so i'm not going to try to take credit for it this was originally built by fizz cannon and i inherited after fizz cannon left the server I did build this trading hall slash iron farm for Fizz Cannon. So I inherited this base. I'm using it kind of as a workshop as to gather materials, that kind of thing. I AFK for iron here. It's a simple iron farm. You've seen me build it before. It uh, produces sugar cane. It produces iron. I can trade for various things. I can buy armor. I can buy tools and weapons. I can buy XP, that kind of thing. It has a curing station that you've seen me build before. I am using a Fizz Cannon named that Corona, not me. The um, This is just a standard iron farm. There's not a lot to show here. It's mainly just a, a small uh, guardian farm with an iron farm. And a few just basic small things like smelters and storage. There's storage underneath. I didn't build any of this, so I'm not going to try to take credit for it or really show it off. But this is where I'm currently working out of now. I want to wrap up the roundup the same way I started in the shopping district. And I want to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the current shopping district versus prior to the uh, stream weekend we just had. So we're going to start it in the same place in both videos. We're going to go this way. And you'll see that we have improved roads. We have improved lighting. Just a general sense of everything is better here in the shopping district now. It's safer. It's brighter. The roads are nicer. Everything about the new shopping district is way better than the old one. Here we are in the same shopping district, the same exact spot, only it is prior to the stream weekend where we improved the shopping district. As you can see, the paths are grass. There's no additional lighting. It's not mob proof. It is insanely dangerous. It's still not a terrible shopping district. It's just not as good as it is now. The people that did the roads, the people that did the decorating, the people that built the custom trees, that filled in the river, that you name it, the list goes on and on and on of things that were accomplished over the stream day. They did a fantastic job. As you can see, the new version is vastly superior to this version. Thank you for watching the roundup. We will try to make this a weekly series of catching up on things that I did on stream. 
If you want to watch the streams, they are here on YouTube. I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Just depending on if I'm filling up to it that day, I try to stream every night. Um, thank you for watching the roundup. Links to all the people mentioned in this video will be in the description. If for all Broke Rocker stuff, go to BrokeRock.com. You can join the Discord. You can find links to all the members. Thank you for watching.